Hello everyone, welcome to this video on electric drives and controllers. Today we will be discussing the topic of electric drive and controller, focusing on motor controllers, component sizing, physical locations and mechanical and electri uh, electrical connections of the motor. Electric drives and controllers are essential components of modern electric vehicle and other types of electric machinery. They are responsible for controlling the speed and torque of electric motors, ensuring that they operate effectively and safely. Let's delve deeper into this topic of specifics of these components. Motor controllers are electronic devices that control the speed and torque of electric motors. They are responsible for regulating the amount of power that the motor receives and adjust it according to the vehicle's requirement. The motor controllers typically receives the signals from the vehicle's control system which it uses to adjust the power output to the motor. There are several types of motor controllers including brush DC controllers, brushless DC controllers and AC controllers. Brush DC controllers are the simplest type and are commonly used in applications with lower power requirements. Brushless DC controllers are more complex and are typically used in applications with higher power requirements. AC controllers are the most complex type of motor controllers and are used in applications where variable speed operation is required. Motor controllers can be divided into two main categories. Those that use pulse width modulation that is PWM and those that use sinusoidal modulation. PWM controllers are simpler and more commonly used in electrical vehicles, while sinusoidal modulation controllers are typically used in industrial applications. Motor controllers typically have several important features, including current limiting, over voltage protection, and over temperature protection. These features are designed to protect the motor and controllers from damage due to excessive current, voltage, or temperature. The choice of motor controller will depend on the type of motor being used, the application, and the desired performance. The controller must be matched to the motor's voltage and current requirements to ensure that it can handle the power output. It should also be designed to minimize power losses and dissipate heat efficiency efficiently. Now we'll see component sizing. Components of an electric drive system must be sized approximately to ensure reliable and efficient operations. The most important components to consider are motor, battery and controller. The motor size will depend on the application and the desired performance. Higher power applications will require larger motors with more torque and higher RPM. The motor's power rating should be matched to the requirements of the application to ensure that it can be provided sufficient power. The motor's efficiency should also be considered to minimize energy losses and increase overall efficiency. Similarly, the battery size will depend on the required range and the motor's power consumption. The battery's um, capacity should be matched to the motor's power requirement to ensure that it can provide sufficient energy. The battery's voltage and current ratings should also be matched to the controller's requirements. The controller's size will depend on the motor's voltage and current requirements. A larger motor will require a larger controller to handle the increased power output, whereas the controller's cooling system should be sized approximately to ensure that it can dissipate the heat generated during operation.
when selecting components of an electric drive system it is important to consider the peak power requirements of the application as well as the steady state power requirements in some cases the motor and battery may be able to handle the peak power requirement but may not be able to sustain that energy of level of power for extended periods it is also important to consider the efficiency of the system when selecting components higher efficiency components can help to reduce energy consumption and increase overall performance physical locations of the electric drive components are crucial for efficient and safe operation so we'll discuss about physical locations the motor the battery and the controller should be located in an area with good ventilation to ensure adequate cooling they should also be positioned to reduce the length of the wiring between them minimizing power losses the location of the motor will depend on the application in some cases it may be mounted directly to the machinery it powers in other cases it may be mounted remotely and connected to the machinery through a drive shaft the motor's mounting should be secure to prevent it from coming uh, losing during uh, operation the battery should be located in an area that is that is easy to access for maintenance and charging it also should be secured to prevent damage during operation the physical locations of the components can have a significant impact on the overall efficiency and performance of the electric drive system for example placing the battery and controller in close proximity to the motor can help to minimize power losses due to long cable runs in addition to the physical locations of the components the orient uh, orientation of the components can also be important for example mounting the motor vertically may require additional bearing support to prevent damage to motor due to gravity the controller should be located in a dry cool area to minimize the risk of damage due to moisture or overheating it should also be easily accessible for maintenance now let us see the mechanical and electrical connections for electric drive and controllers Mechanical and electrical connections between the motor, battery and controller are critical for reliable and safe operation. Mechanical connections must be secure to prevent the motor from coming uh, loose during operation. They should also be designed to reduce vibration which can damage the motor and other components. The mechanical connection should be designed to minimize power losses and increase overall efficiency. Electrical connections must be made using appropriate cables and connectors. The cables must be rated for the required voltage and current and the connectors must be secure and reliable. They should also be designed to reduce electromagnetic interference which can cause the electrical noise and reduce the controller's performance. The electrical connection should be designed to minimize power losses and maximize efficiency. They should be protected from damage due to heat, moisture or other environmental factors. Mechanical connections between the motor and other con- components should be designed to minimize vibration and reduce the risk of damage to the equipment. For example, flexible couplings can help to reduce the transmission of vibration between the motor and the other components. Electrical whereas electrical connection should be designed to minimize power losses and reduce the risk of electrical noise this can be accomplished by using high quality cables and connectors that are properly rated for the voltage and current requirements for the system in addition to grounding the motor battery and controller to a common point it is also important to properly ground other components of the system such as the frame of the machinery 
Proper grounding is also critical for safe and reliable operation. The motor, the battery and the controller should be all grounded to a common point to minimize the risk of electrical shock or damage of the equipment. In summary, electrical drives and controllers are essential components of modern electrical vehicles and machinery. Proper sizing, physical location and mechanical and electrical connections are crucial to ensure efficient and safe operation. It is important to carefully consider the requirements of the application and choose the appropriate components and configurations to maximize performance and minimize energy consumption. Regular maintenance and inspection of the components is also essential to ensure reliable and safe operation over the life of the equipment. By carefully considering and the requirements of the application and choosing the appropriate components and configurations, it is possible to achieve high levels of performance and energy efficiency. That was all about electric drive and controllers. Thanks for watching and I hope you find this video informative and helpful.